is time to drive down to the barn. What the heck is this? Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. It's, it's super sunny, thank gosh. And cold. Thank goodness it is super sunny today. And cold. I am done with that rain. It is supposed to be an amazing weekend. How did your truck get so dirty? Rammed it down the back road. What? That one's the back road. Can we go? Can we go? Can yeah, we go? let's go. Let's go see. The first thing we hear is Chino. Then the second thing we hear is Honey. And then usually Penny Pickle. The horses were pooping in the arena so much. Wow, it is sunny. I love a winter sun. You guys know that sun that's so strong? Love that. Mama never gets close. Yeah, but Chino's not out yet. So, are you taking her out before Chino? She likes, she has her routine, you guys. She has her routine. We gotta give her a good brush today, Sophie. I, know. I want can I show them your eye? See her eye where it's really dark underneath that baby fur? So yesterday, Sophie posted a video on her channel. Her channel is called Sophie's Life. And it is her first video in a long, long time. She's so excited to have her channel back. It was all about her foal. And she said that you can tell that her her new color, like her adult color coming in, is going to be that darker shade of brown than she is now. She anyway, on Sophie's hey. channel, people were freaking out saying that if she's shedding her fur right now, that means she's only four months old. But she, that's not... Skin around her eyes was already shed long, long ago, and that's how we can tell that that's going to be her, probably her, her, she's going to be darker when she's older. The stuff she has now, and Sylvie's referring to her baby fluff, is not like the fur that she had when she was born. It's her winter coat. We're going into winter here, and I always forget. Some places, people are going into summer, and they don't realize the difference. So we can tell the color that she's, we can tell that she's going to darken as she gets older because she, she already has that new fur underneath around her eyes the stuff on top when we refer to her baby fluff is not her newborn coat it's her it's her winter fluff her winter baby fluff you guys know babies get really fluffy that color around her eyeballs that's her like more permanent that came that color happened when she shed out she's she she's <laughs> she's not a for she's not a four or five month old baby. If you guys think that I get hurt every single day, you are correct. I find a way. I just <laughs> hit my pinky and it hurts. Yeah, it's because you're fast moving like me. And you stopped while I was walking and I was looking at honey over there. So I walked right into you. She's doing super well. Her weight is maintaining really well. She eats and drinks so well. Another thing people were saying on Sophie's channel was that she's too young to raise a foal. Oh my gosh, she's just turned 13. Of course she's too young. We would never just give her a foal and say, here you go, figure it out. Holy heck, I'm always with her. And we have so much help. We have like an actual incredible trainer that is teaching us everything that we need to know. Right yeah, she's like, I'm not going in there. I know what that means. you want to go out with them but, but I love that color too that color around her eyes I think it's adorable right. also people are were saying like there she's right next to those horses and she is relatively close to them there's like a good three feet between the things they can't actually get hey, look, she's calmed down to one another Whoa, baby he is looking good <laughs> wait up little herd Sophie is really dedicated and loving and amazing with Willow, has taught her so much. You guys remember, she was unhandled for 15 years before our friend got her. And Sophie has like turned that little girl into this amazing little love machine. And, and she's respectful and sweet and just listens to Sophie on commands. Like she just wants to do whatever Sophie asks of her and I have no, Fear that that won't happen with Sophie and Honey. Honey Pot. What are we gonna call her? Honey. We've gotta always have two names. Honey. Her show name is Honey, Honey Queen. Queen. No, somebody said Honey. Oh, they're. Um, tastes like honey or something like that. Or Sweet as Honey. Sweet as Honey. Because I like Sweetie for her too. Sweet as Honey. Anyway, she is out for breakfast. We're gonna clean her stall. Get everything ready for her, but it's a gorgeous, beautiful day, and she'll be able to be out here, and she can see the horses, and it's been working out really well. 
until we integrate them and we're gonna integrate them slowly and we have a whole plan and we will show you guys I haven't really been able to be on YouTube like looking in the comments and stuff too much that's the umbrella yeah, that I use up, please. on my pony. Uh, because we've been so busy with her like the first little while we wanted to be able to make sure she was pooping and peeing we needed to like oh I have a battery make sure that everything was working because you know babies are hard and you want to make sure that everything's okay there's ice in her bucket. Wait, that's my job. Wait, I don't, I, I can't reach it. Let's see if she pops it herself. Oh, let's see if she, oh. She was about to come and drink. So another thing about her that's so phenomenal, and I swear it's a mini thing, like minis are so versatile and so strong, um, is that she is so good about drinking. Like she, She takes some food and then she dips it in the water. Like with her hay especially, she soaks it before she eats it. a happy settled little baby like she's so good I'm gonna tell you guys the story on how we got honey a few months ago our friend got a miniature a young miniature I think three years old and it was adorable it was so cute it was a little boy and uh, we loved him Sophie loved him she did so much work with him she was like giving him a lot of treat he was wild like absolutely wild never handled he was absolutely wild and never trained, much like Willow would have been for like 15 years. Never trained, so wild, and Sophia loved him. And she was like teaching him to come up to her. Sophie spent so much time with this little guy. She, he was just a tiny little guy, barely bigger than Honey, actually, and he's three. And she was like, spent entire hours with this little guy, teaching him to like come up to her and and... It was like amazing and after that happened I toyed around for a while with the idea of getting Sophie another mini for her birthday and so uh, this little guy was for sale and I was this close to buying him like so close to buying him that was the horse and I was gonna buy him and the only reason I even contemplated was because this horse happened he showed up in our lives and Sophie took such a liking to him and worked so much with him and like was so good with him but then at the last minute when it was like time for me to decide if I was gonna get him for her birthday I had a few issues and just from like lack of nutrition and lack of care while he was growing and probably his mom being pregnant with him and probably bad breeding as well and I had to really think about like I know the things that Sophie wants to do with this boy like the things that she wants to train the things that she trains with Willow and the things that she like wants to do with them like she wants to be a miniature horse girl so then I was like oh, I can't really buy this guy just because there's too much unknown about if he'd be able to do the things that she wants to do even though he was adorable and beautiful and by now over all this time it was like about a month and a half maybe before her birthday and I'm thinking okay should I actually get her a miniature foal or should I actually get her another mini or just let it go 
And but because I'd already been thinking about it, it was already in my heart, and I was already, you know, planning on this little guy. I started looking around. I'm like, I'm not buying one. I even messaged a friend and said, like, I'm not buying a miniature. What do you have for sale, though? I just want to see if something speaks to me or if God gives me like a sign and. So she showed me all the minis that she had for sale, and oh my gosh, she has the most beautiful minis for sale. Absolutely incredible minis for sale. Like, all baby, all young, like, honey. And I thought about it and thought about it and thought about it. And then my another friend said, oh, there's a mini, there, oh, I know of a breeder that has minis for sale, and there's one that I think would be perfect for Sophie. And so I was like, okay, like, I'll, I'll, I'll see if it'll work out if if it works out it works out if it doesn't it doesn't but you guys know the story once something speaks to your heart it just speaks to your heart and I knew that she was the right one I just knew like and then it seemed us I know in our videos it seemed so out of the blue that we got this girl but once I decided that yeah she was the right one and I felt like I could move ahead with this we had to like it was closer to Sophie's birthday and I had to wait and make sure that we were allowed to get her and then I had to wait and decide uh, till they like let me know when she was ready and all that kind of stuff and it, it all worked out perfectly and we ended up getting her but that's how come it seems like it just came out of the blue I never shared like we don't share everything with you guys we don't show everything we never showed the journey with them that our friends little gelding that she rescued I never showed um the finding of honey and i never like there's so much that we don't do we vlog for two like we vlog for such a short amount of time just little tiny bits of certain things that we're doing and then we have a whole other life where we're at home and we're like our nightlife especially like we have family and friends and we do so many other things that we don't share so i i see how it could like look like it came out of the blue but it was pretty thought out pretty figured out like we did so much research so much deciding like so much went into figuring out if I even wanted to get her a mini a miniature another miniature and what it would be like we started out with a three-year-old and then ended up with a full now knowing that little gelding and knowing her who would you have preferred her who do you think was is easier her. yeah because he was three years with no handling at all and he I mean I was about to take grass out of my hand. Yeah. And I could pet him. Yeah, I know. You did really well with him, but he sometimes going backwards is is definitely harder. But he was a cutie and I don't know, like I still have him in my heart. Okay, so like I think it was a week before I got honey. I got a half finger on Sir Stable that looks exactly like her. Really? I can show you when we go back up. Like, I know where you are. Anyway, Sophie takes her for walks and just slow little tiny bits of training. We're not out to like make her a trick pony at, as a baby. Like we want her to have this whole winter and, and we want her to grow up with her full, with her friends and we want to just. And the first thing I'll be teaching her is how to fist bump. How to fist bump. We just want her to, we just want to train her naturally in the things that we do every day with her like she walks and she is so good at getting brushed now and she's still sassy yeah like she has her sassy baby moments mm -hmm. all right gabby's here gabby gabby gabby's a typical teenager she goes she likes a lot of sleep you know that's gonna happen to you soon i already can't wake up in the mornings really mm -hmm. so the weird thing is is that like all of my siblings had a hard time waking up in the morning when they were teenagers and I was never like that. I'm like, Sophie's like me. She just jumps out of bed and I did that Not all anymore. the time. Not anymore. Not anymore.
are out getting chicken food and we got Miss Honey, her very first salt block. Here you go, there's a salt lick for your girl. Sophie always has to taste it. First one here, always. She's like, I will mother you. She's very interested. Come on, ponies, <laughs> stop looking at the baby. I wanna pick all your feet. Yeah, I'm gonna make dinner right now. Like as soon as we go back after we do this. No, we're gonna have a big dinner. It's like, remember how I used to brag how every time we come into the arena, we'd be like, the horses would be like, yes, they're here. Well, apparently the, the foal is the attraction now. Well, it's like, I just gotta make sure you're safe. Well, now we have an arena to play in. Been replaced, you guys. I don't, know. don't know how that's happy for her. Are you, are you watching her, Penny? Don't you know that you're beautiful? Just the way you are.